I'm sorry. I mean, uh, this is our voice actor panel. Our first guest is a BabsCon veteran. She's the voice of Rarity, Granny Smith, and Pri Best Princess Luna. Please give me a big BabsCon welcome to Tabitha St. Germain. All right, next up, first time guest at BabsCon, but somebody who's been doing voice acting for a lot of years. He's the voice of your childhood, the voice of the evil mastermind brain, and also my favorite character father from Kids Next Door, Chancellor Naysay, Maurice LaMarche. All right, I'm next not we have that. the amazing singing voice of Twilight Sparkle, the voice of Sunset Shimmer, Night Glider, Big Mac's girlfriend, Sugar Bell, another Babscom attorney I'd like to introduce, Rebecca Shoykhead. Next we have well, another you. returning VIP, someone who's voiced a lot of characters over the years also. The singing voice for Rarity and Best Princess Luna, and the voice of Adagio Dazzle and Moon Dancer, and especially Best Pony Octavia, a big Babscon welcome to Kazumi Evans. Yay! All right. Next, we have another first-time guest, but not a first-time voice actor. He is fairly new to the MLP fandom, but he's done such great characters as Bright Mac, Pharynx, and the Pony of Shadows. Every pony, please welcome Bill Newton. And now for something completely different. To restore balance to the force and provide a little comic relief, <laughs> I'd like to introduce one final table read guest and a totally amazing guy, the talent behind a lot of our MLP comic publications, the great and powerful Andy Price. Everybody ready? Yes. As I'll yes. ever be. How about you guys? So Everybody good. ready? All right. So he introduced everybody, but uh, let me tell you, uh, Rebecca is going to be playing Miss Mush, uh, best pony Applejack, <laughs> and Aggie Pig. Uh, Maurice is Dr. Chuck Muffins. Uh, Kazumi will be Octavia. Thank you. Thank you. Apple Bloom, Peggy Pig, and Lily Spartan. Uh, Tabitha will be. Take a guess. <laughs> it's Rarity and Granny Smith. That's right. Um, <laughs> and Bill. Bill is going to be doing Big Mac, my favorite pony name, Rock Hard. Yes. <laughs> Iggy and Martin Spartan. Uh, this is In Your Face, written by Tabitha. <laughs> and I'm here to set the mood for you and tell you where we are. Uh, interior. The Carousel Boutique, evening. Rarity is just closing up shop when Octavia raps on the window, insanely excited. Darling. Darling. Penelope appease the pugnacious police pony with the palpable appeal of apples. Sally's underhanded salamander demanded to stand in a can of sun. Eleven benevolent alevins rendered offense indirectly. <laughs> It's been ages, darling. Uh, how is your
Oh, oh no, you go first. No, you. Oh, if you insist. My papa is fine. Thank you for almost asking. And how is your mother? Still in jail, I'm afraid. Naughty old mum. <laughs> Every family has a bendy branch. <laughs> Too true. <clears throat> Although I must say your family tree is a bit straighter, it must be nice to have Dr. Chuck Muffins, respected medical researcher for a father. Well, some ponies think Papa's a bit... You know, I mean, there hasn't been proper disease in Ponyville since the old days, and even those stories are probably just legends. Like that herd of ponies that grew antlers and couldn't talk anymore, only moo. Exactly, the moozles. Terrifying. Sadly for poor Papa, modern ponies are as healthy, healthy as horses. Most ponies eat at least an apple a day. I suppose it keeps Papa away. I suppose... Speaking of apples, I know you're about to close up, but I have an apple wedding in San Francisco tomorrow, and I need a frock, if it's no trouble. You don't mind buying off the rack? Your rack is legend. Oh. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Oh, no trouble at all, darling. Who is getting married? My cousin, Martin Spartan. Oh, I didn't know you had apple blood. Mother was an apple. Oh, well, your speech is a testament to Miss Wordsworth's school of etiquette and diction. Just think, I could have been a talkie like this. <laughs> but Papa's family are muffins. Oh. Rarity uses her horn to float over a little fleet of dresses. Like our muffins, muffins. Muffins is a day old muffins, where Chuck muffins muffins is. I'll just bung a dart or two in the front. Rarity magics the frock over Octavia's head and sends a volley of pins to cinch it. You're a lifesaver. Could you make up a quick cello cozy too? Oh, can I, Bobbins? Anything for a fellow graduate. She uh, quickly cuts out a shape from similar chiffon and sews. Speaking of the palpable appeal of apples, why hasn't Applejack come in for a frock? Do tell me she wouldn't wear something old. I don't know. I went to Sweet Apple Acres to see if my cello and mine might get a lift to the wedding. I knocked, but no one answered. Which was odd, because I swear I could see through the window. So just to make sure, I poked my bow through the keyhole, and someone said, Ow! But, but no, no one answered? Darling, that is odd. They stare at each other with growing alarm. They must not be well. It could be Moozles! <gasps> Celestia's slippers! Octavia, what if they have antlers? Rarity, maybe it was an owl I heard. Maybe it was moo. Not moo, Octavia! Rarity! I must alert father. It was a moo. I'm now, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Interior, the apple farm, night. A bat flits outside the bedroom. It grabs the open window with its feet and swings in upside down to see Big Mac. Applejack and Apple Bloom snoring peacefully in their beds. Oh. The bat flies over to sit on Big Mac's chest. Hello, big guy. The sleeping apples shimmer oddly, then plurk, florp, preek. <laughs> preek. <laughs> <laughs> Antlers erupt from their pony heads, close in on the bat's uvula as it cries battily. My little pony, my little pony, ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun, a beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have my little pony. Do you know you're all my very best friend? And now a commercial for Prozac. <laughs> Interior, Royal Society of Pony Medicine Buffet, night. A sign reads, dinner lecture. You make me sick, how infectious diseases get around. Egghead medical scholars sit at a dinner as on a podium, a frizzled out mane with specs, Dr. Chuck Muffins holds forth. 
We know disease is the outcome of misaligned magics, <laughs> miasmic disturbance arising from the soil, ill winds or sarcastic fog. My new research posits that contagion can jump pony to pony, yes. A tiny, smaller than a flea, sub-visible representative of the host, taking advantage of proximity, leaps from one body to the other as if on springs. Indeed, there may be some launch device, like a trampoline that catapults these disease-bearing minute ponies to another body. Miss Mush, is Dad almost done? I have urgent news. Shh! Octavia, Octavia push pushes a leaning scholar who has fallen asleep in line upright, checking his notes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Common symptoms of contagion are repugnance to exercise, general stupefaction, ructions, foofle infarctions, sour risings of bilious matter. Heckling volume. <laughs> Wash your hooves, ponies. <laughs> the sleeping shut up. I didn't get a <laughs> rump out of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Give the governor a rump. You watch your ass. The, sli <laughs> the, the sleeping scholar wakes and moves along. Miss Mush serves Octavia a splurk of mystery soup. Checking notes. <clears throat> Ahem, where were we? Uh, oh, yes. Polyps. Yes, very exciting. Sort of nubs of itch, rubicund in hue, and filled with ichor. Polylonius, the great physician of old, said they were like donuts, but terrible. <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> lost my place here, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, oh, colic, night terrors, explosive diet. Because you never know. <laughs> uh, yes, apoplexy, uh, polydactylism, woolly drool, incontinence, involuntary emissions. I wear a hairnet. <clears throat> <clears throat> Miss Mush, we all admire your enthusiasm for epidemiology. But strictly speaking, this is a conference for adepts of the medical arts. Bloody da. As I was saying, anomalous vocal phenomenon, turbidity of the fluids, endless nonsensical dialogue, <laughs> pie eye, hydrophobia, horse hockey, morbid fear of pickles. A scholar for whom this picture is too vivid faints backward off his chair. He farts. <laughs> Nervous flatulence, piles, sclerotic distress, carbuncles, antlers, wobbly wibbles, baldness, coma, and death. <laughs> so, if you have any of these things, you should, uh, uh... <clears throat> he peers at his notes, um, shakes his head, mumbles, nope, can't read his own writing. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, alternate speeches. Scholars blink and suck soup loudly. <laughs> Octavia catches her father's eye and waves urgently. In conclusion, uh, we've all had someone stand too close and thought, you know, you're bugging me. Avoid them like the plague. My finding finds that this is literally true, so... Pay attention to warning signs. If the horse is horse, keep the heck away. Thank you, Miss Mush. <laughs> and that concludes today's lecture. Enjoy your dinner. He walks over to the buffet. Papa, it's the apples. They have the moozles. What? All of them? A pandemic? Miss Mush drops her ladle. Prang! All heads turn to look at Dr. Chuck Muffins. At last. Papa! <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, I hope the, the apples can, can last. Interior, Sweet Apple Acres Kitchen, day. Big Mac looking grumpy and unkept, sits with a pig on his lap like a cat. Applejack holds a stick like a conductor. Say it again. Yep. Yup. You can do it. Say it with me. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's the big deal? Big Mac slumps, shrinks, and melts. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Applejack starts to glitch and shimmer. <laughs> then pop. In <laughs> In her place is a pink as gum pony with antlers. She is Pink Lady Bad Apple. Ugh, must be Grandpa Bad Apple's wand. The magic is stuck. Look at us. We can't even hold a disguise for five minutes. Stupid stick. She opens the pantry door and hoiks, hoiks the wand inside. Slam. Big Mac goes pop. And in his place, another up to no good pony with antlers, Pig Mac Bad Apple. I ran around town all day and the disguise was fine until I got back here. Ponies totally bought that I was him, Bark Mulch. He scritches the pig's chin. Who's a good piggy wiggy? It's Big Mac. That's what I said, Bug Muck. Big Mac. Exactly, Apple Splat. <laughs> he ducks as a younger, up to no good, pony, with antlers, winds up and chucks an apple above the kitchen table. Boom! Yeah. It explodes. Someone say my name. <laughs> Pink Lady and Juan Bad Apple stand there seething and smoking. What? It's called making an entrance. Maybe you've heard of it? How about you save some whoop apple for the wedding, Apple Splat? Guys, this is a problem, big time. If our magic doesn't hold, how are we gonna infiltrate and destroy the whole core of the stinking apple clan? In your face! <laughs> if we can't use the sweet apple acre apples to infiltrate the stinking apple clan in your face, <laughs> there's no point, we should just go home. Sit down, kid, there's always a point to revenge. Really, what's the point? The point is to get revenge, obviously. <laughs> That's why it's called getting revenge. Uh -oh. Suddenly, there is a knock on the door. <gasps> Everyone freezes. Uh, answer it. Like this? You answer. Like this? It hit me with the wand again. She pats her clothes. Nada. Where is it? Panic. Mm -hmm. They pat down Pink Lady, pull her pockets inside <laughs> out, turn her upside down, uh -huh. shake her like a redheaded stepchild. <laughs> 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 Nothing. They pull the kitchen apart. Nada. Apple Splat opens the pantry door. Inside, the real Applejack, Apple Bloom and Big Mac are tied up in a row. Big Mac is caught using the wand to saw through Apple Bloom's bonds. Pink Lady grabs the wand and waves it at them. The blast of magic knocks them out. Sleep, stinking apples. Pink Lady slams the pantry door. She waves the wand at herself and the other bad apples. They morph into the apples. Uh-huh. Hello? She opens the door a crack to... Hello, it's Dr. Chuck Muffins. Uh, my daughter, Octavia, was concerned that you folk might be in the grip of La Grip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everything okay in there? Nothing growing out of anyone's head? Pink Lady wedges herself into the doorway as Applejack... Well, hi. No, yeah, we're fine in here. Everything completely normal. Kate, bye. A hoof in the door, the doctor tries to see around her. Just the fam. Me and the fam. <laughs> you know, doing fam stuff. Oh. Oh, well. Are you going to the wedding? You know, might, could, could, might. Well, just my daughter Octavia wondered if she could get a lift. No! Was that a moo? Pink Lady's disguise glitches. Moo? <gasps> Just a bug muck, a uh, bag milk. <laughs> Nonsensical dialogue. Anomalous vocal phenomena. The doctor grabs her leg and feels for a pulse. You're burning up. He pulls off his suit, revealing medical scrubs underneath, and jams a thermometer in Applejack's mouth. <laughs> Blinds her with a surgeon's light attached to his head. Say ah. He bonks her with a mallet on the knee. Ah! Hyperreflexive. She hops on three legs. <laughs> Hyperreflexive. Uh, any pie eye polyps? What? Terrible donuts. Keep up. <laughs> her disguise glitches. The door swings open, revealing the other fake apples also glitching. She quickly pulls the door back. It's worse than I thought. 
He steps on her foot like a garbage can so that she throws back her neck. He jams a bottle of medicine down her gullet. He stands back, scribbles on a pad, and throws a piece of paper at her. What's this? Read it back to me so I know you understand. Who can read this writing? It says, put your right hoof in, put your right hoof out. You put your right hoof in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. What's this all about? (laughs) It's your prescription. And shake a rattle by your ears. Why? To prevent antlers, obviously. Uh, antlers? <laughs> we don't have antlers. My dear, you must take this seriously. What you have in your hooves is not some backwoods potion by a hoodoo gypsy zebra. It's... <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, damn. I am naysay as well, you know. <laughs> And we know who he was based on. (laughs) Just saying this is what I auditioned with. (laughs) Nobody auditioned like this better than me. I was the best auditioner. You gotta stop, because that makes me Sarah Sanders. (laughs) (laughs) Lots of slips of the tongue in there. Yes, my friend. <laughs> oh, dear. You think he took over the world, but it's all part of my latest plan, although Pinky keeps getting control of the Trump bot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cancer from windmills? May I be the first to say... Windmills do not work that way. Good night. <laughs> and now back to back my to little our pony. Show. And now <laughs> back to our show. Awesome. What you have in your hooves is not some backwoods potion. It's science. <laughs> we must keep the tiny invisible shadow ponies off their trampolines so that they don't commute. Unpredictable movement. Start now. Now, pony! She doesn't move. (laughs) He bonks her with his mallet, and she hops on one leg. More spastic. Confuse the bugs. He deeks back and forth to demonstrate, then bonks her other leg. What you have could be extremely contagious and important to my research. The old are particularly susceptible. Oh, no. Where's Granny? Uh, she's gone. I'm sorry to hear that. (laughs) Oh, you know, it's fine. (laughs) Well, I have a wedding to go to and then golf, but I'll be back to see if you live for autopsy time. (laughs) You know, I've never done that. Hmm. May Celeste be with you. Uh, You have your prescription. All you can do now is hope. Still alive in there? Yes. Well, it doesn't sound right. How about now? Yep. Now? Yes! Oh, oh well. Exterior, Sweet Apple Acres, continued. The Bad Apple's disguises have completely faded again. Crazy's gone. Apple Splat grabs the prescription. Question is, what are we still doing here? Yeah, and how are we going to destroy the stinking Apple family car? <sighs> If we're too sick to go to the wedding. She shakes a rattle by Pink Lady's ears. We're just a little excited, that's all. Uh, Who wouldn't be with a chance to avenge their ancestors right around the corner? He noogies the pig. Right, piggy. (laughs) Let's just make pies, get a good night's sleep, and we'll go destroy the whole stinking core of the Apple family. In in, In the morning. Hokey pokey, and you turn yourself about. What are you doing, Apple Bloom? The prescription, just in case we get antlers. 
We already have antlers. Oh. We're not sick, you ding dong. Oh. Antlers are our thing. And our disguises are fine. They just don't hold in this house for some reason. Oh, okay. She, no need to take my hat off. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> Who the heck is Granny? Interior, midnight, sweet apple acres. Upstairs, Pink Lady, Apple Splat, and Pig Mac sleep in the apple's beds. A pig curls in Pig Mac's arms, and two others sleep by his side. The pig pulls up Pig Mac's eyelid, checks. Out cold. The pig, suddenly wearing a ninja bandana, because he can, because <laughs> this is a cartoon, <laughs> slides the wand, the wand out of Pig Mac's hooves and signals the other pigs. They roll off the bed, down the stairs, and land like ninjas by the pantry door where a mop is hanging. A pig nudges the mop, which does a sudden flip in the air and lands like a superhero. That's no mop, it's Ninja Granny Smith. <laughs> you all can keep a secret, can't you? <laughs> there ain't no secret to Weenie or Big that you can't entrust to your good friend the pig. He won't tell the truth and he won't tell a lie. Cause for a piggy squeals on you, that piggy'd rather fly. Pigs, pigs will fly, pigs will fly, pigs will fly, pigs will fly. Inky dinky, oinky donky do or die. Pigs will fly, pigs will fly, oh me, oh me, oh my. Before a piggy squeals on you, that piggy rather fly. Now he's a bottom liner, your old pal the swiner. Can try to climb with cash to ride, but piggy just decliner. Can't even bribe him with a nicer style. Cause for that piggy blabs on you, your piggy gonna fly. Pigs will fly, pigs will fly, pigs will fly, pigs will fly. Pigs will fly, pigs will fly, pigs will fly. Inky dinky, oinky donky do or die. Pigs will fly, pigs will fly, oh me, oh me, oh my. Can bribe them with a nicer style, that piggy would rather fly. We pigs got a code, the way of the pig. We got epic ethics that we never shall renege. Ain't no time for farm karma, it's do or it's die. Before that piggy rings your bell, that pig is gonna fly. Woo! <laughs> pigs will fly, pigs will fly, pigs will fly, pigs will fly. Inky dinky, oinky donky do or die. Pigs will fly, pigs will fly. Oh me, oh me, oh my. Before that piggy rings your bell, that piggy would rather fly. Can bribe him with a nicer side, that piggy would rather fly. Before that piggy squeals on you, that piggy's gonna fly. I would like to thank Brian for the use of his ukulele. That was a surprise. <laughs> Sometimes it's like you are talking back to me. <laughs> Anyhow, they can't know I'm here. She opens the door to the pantry. There's the real Big Mac, Applejack and Applebloom, tied up and gagged. You all ever wonder why we have pigs? <laughs> they blink, blink at her. <laughs> it's cause pigs can either put a damper on the magic or boost it on up. Granny, get Granny, out of here! Help You're us. gonna lose us. Granny, out. Let us out. <laughs> How am I supposed to focus on fixing things with y'all yippity yapping at me like a bunch of coyote diggity dogs? <laughs> <laughs> granny, Granny, Granny! <laughs> she waves. Granny waves the wand at them. Sleep! They fall unconscious. Uh, oh, put that thing back, will you, before I start getting up in the airs like a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> she gives the pig back the wand. Wait! There's one last thing we ought to do with that there magic stick. <laughs> Exterior The Spartan Wedding, San Francisco. Music. A polka band plays as the extended Apple Clan expo explodes out of the ceremony and onto the street. Octavia spots rarity. Darling! Darling! I got a last minute in invite. I'm so glad to see you. I don't know a soul. Pinkie Pie can be seen bouncing over the top of the crowd. There's Pinkie! Oh! 
The crowd cheers as ponies carrying the bride and groom aloft in chairs bump into Octavia. One of them is a handsome pony who drops his end of the groom's chair when he sees Rarity. The bride and groom bearers teeter away lopsided. Let me introduce you, Rarity. This is Rock Hard Stud Muffin, my cousin on my papa's side. <laughs> well, hey there. Is it uh, hot out here or is it just you? <laughs> <laughs> this must be a gallery because you are a work of art. Can you take me to the doctor? I think I broke my leg falling for you. <laughs> Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Rarity faints. <laughs> Go with the falling metaphors, rock hard. <laughs> in the background, the bad apples draw up in a cart. Applejack takes out the wand. Oh, we're late. I'll do a quick touch-up. Put that wand away. Someone will see. We look fine. Let's do this. They pick up baskets of apple pies and hustle over to the present table where Miss Mush oversees the guest registry. We are the apples. <laughs> go figure. <laughs> Mac the Big, that's me. Apple Bloom, Apple Jack. So, uh, we are just gifting these honest to goodness apple pies, right? I mean, yep. Yes, good yipping, a uh, brother of mine, for the bride and groom, honest to goodness pies. They don't explode or nothing. <laughs> Keep away. Yep, uh, wait, what? Uh, pies, honest to pies, goodness, for the bride, and... Whatever kind of flu you got, we ain't getting it. Don't come back here until you're better. Miss Mush pulls a germ mask over her mouth. I assure you, lady ma'am, we're quite well. Then why are you talking all weird? I ain't your lady, ma'am. I'm Marjorie Mush. We went to school together, Big Mac. Your eyes are going, ain't they? You got wobbly wibbles. Stand back! She sprays them with a handy can of insecticide. You ain't yourself. You're pandemical. And don't take no fancy doctor to see that. Miss Mush quickly zips herself into a hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, lady, we'll just put down the pies and get out of your mane. What do you take me for? No pony here's touching no plague pies. Are you insulting our pies? Made by the sweat of honest to goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't bring no plague sweat comestibles here, Jeremy. Now you go on and don't come back until you see a doctor or... She pulls out a flamethrower and sprays flame, turning the table of presents to ash. I'm going to have to cleanse you with fire. <laughs> Panicked, the fake apples run into the crowd. Miss Mush sprays flame after them. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they run into the thick of the crowd. It parts from the other direction for the laughing bride and groom who still surf over everyone's heads on chairs headed straight for... Out of the way! Plague ponies! What are we gonna do now? She's gaining on us! Oh, this'll do it. Uh, 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 for our ancestors' honor! They are almost face to face with the bride and groom. Detonate the pies now! Slow motion. <laughs> Fake Applejack pulls the wand out and waves it at the pies. Apple Splat and Pig Mac face plant beside her as the pies rise into the air. Pies everywhere fly toward the astonished faces of guests. The bride and groom's eyes go wide as pie is about to hit, and then all freeze. A, a little left, left. From up above, Granny is gently let down into the frozen scene in her wheelchair, carried by three flying pigs. Thanks, fellas. Oh, I bet you done worked up an appetite. She plucks a pie out of the sky and tosses it to them. All yours. Good work, fellers. The pigs fly around at super speed and gobble up the pies. Now then, let's see what's going on here. She pulls the wand out of fake Applejack's mouth and waves it. Everything resumes, resumes movement. 
the one uneaten pie splats into Miss Mush's face <laughs> and takes her right out. Oops, missed one. <laughs> the crowd gathers in a circle. The bride and groom fall out of their chairs and land on the bad, ap bad apples, pinioning them. Did, did we get them? Did we get the whole stinking apple clan? In your face. In your face! <laughs> <laughs> um, Big Mac, are you, are you all right? You are the apples. What do you mean, get the apples? Granny waves the wand. Still face down, the bad apples transform into themselves, antlers and all. Care to explain yourselves, not my green fools? She waves the wand again. Explain! Okay. Hundreds of years ago, our ancestor Juan Bad Apple was rejected by the stinking apple clan in your face. They said we were the bendy branch of the family, all because of our antlers. We weren't good enough for you, so we decided to use our magic wand to infiltrate the biggest gathering of apples and stick a pie in your face. What in in your, your face! Our ancestor's honor is avenged! Well, now, that's a heck of a thing. Did we get you good? <laughs> uh, no, but the good news is you gave my pigs a rare feast. The pigs lick pie off Miss Mush. The bride and groom move to let the bad apples up. Listen, sometimes our ancestors, and here I do mean my ancestors, didn't do everything good. They didn't see that you have to treat everyone equal, even when they are different. We can do better. We can progress. Just then, Dr. Chuck Muffins breaks through the crowd. Stand back, everyone. It's the Moosles. The infection has taken them. Wave your arms, dance, confuse the tiny plague ponies before they launch from their trampolines. Who's with me? He deeks spazzily from side to side. There's nothing wrong, uh, nothing infectious about antlers, you big quack McMuffin. Please don't be offended by Papa. He just loves lurid diseases so much. He was just really hoping for a plague. He even named me Octavia Milady. Luckily, Mother, bless her, surreptitiously changed my birth certificate. He named you Octavia Malady? Hmm. Personally, I find your antlers magnificent. Also, did anyone else notice that these fine members of the Apple family clan are actually moose, mooses, meese? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I got that too. I, yeah. I kind of noticed that. <laughs> makes, makes sense. Pinkie Pie, who has been bouncing up and down to see, blurts. <laughs> Pinkie? <laughs> Pinkie? Say again. <laughs> Pinky? <laughs> oh, you meant for her to say again, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Martin Spartan and his bride, Lily, approach the bad apples. We're proud to have you as a member of the apple clan. Uh, that is, if you can find it in your heart to come back to the family. I'd be honored if you would join me in a dance. She holds out her hooves to Pig Mac, who takes them with a shy smile. Apple Splat accepts Martin Spartan's hooves. Rockhard Stud Muffin offers hooves to Pink Lady, who faints in his arms. <laughs> the wedding band strikes up a polka, and they dance off. Oompa, oompa, oompa. <laughs> Merrily absorbed into the festivities. Miss Mush, Dr. Chuck Muffins, Granny, Rarity, and Octavia are left. Miss Mush whimpers and scratches her eye. <laughs> Whatever happened, Miss Mush, is that, is that pie eye? I got hit with a pie and licked it and licked by a pig. Pie eye. I have just the thing. He takes out a can of whipped cream and sprays it on. <laughs> Thank you. That helped. I mean, I know it's no pala pandemic, but still. I've been a fool, Miss Mush. That's the real contagion. I'd be happy to get a contagion if it came from you, Dr. Chuck Muffins.
Miss Mush? Dr. Chuck Muffins. Miss Mush. Dr. Chuck Muffins. <laughs> 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 Granny, weren't you scared for your life? Oh, no. My pigs like that bad apple fitter. I knew he wasn't dangerous. And Rarity, I'm sorry my cousin made you faint. He does have a way with the ladies. Oh, darling, darling, darling. <laughs> it wasn't him. It was the spandex. The bride was wearing spandex. I mean, <clears throat> most ponies look like jelly in a shiny bag when they wear spandex. But, but, but I mean, she, she pulled it off. <laughs> Miss Mush, Granny was right. I'm an old fuddy-duddy stuck in the mud. Progress. That's why we have a new generation. I'd stick my daddy in the mud for you. Speaking of new... <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of new generations, <laughs> Granny, where are the real Big Mac, Applejack, and Apple Bloom? Granny's eyes widen. The real Big Mac, Applejack, and... Oh, dang, ba ding dang doodle I knew I'd forget it something. Boink. <laughs> The big, fat, hairy end. You can now say you've heard Orson Welles do the hokey pokey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, you guys. I hope you enjoy yourselves. <laughs> So we're going to take one of these scripts. Everybody here is going to sign it. We're going to put it in the charity auction. Uh, so if you would like to go get a goodie to remember this, this wonderful moment. <laughs> um, and personally, I always thought that the apples kept pigs because pork chops go great with applesauce. <laughs> All right. I Are you going to give her a paycheck? <laughs> Thank you. I accept your money. <laughs> uh, uh, Granny's green about to leave the building. There's only so much you can fit in my support hose. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks again to Brian for the ukulele loan. Thanks, everyone.